With Mortensen Math, we use rectangles to make problems visual and counting easier. So let's build some rectangles. Put very simply, a rectangle has four corners and four sides. So utilizing our units, x's and x squares, let's look at some ways of building rectangles. Let's begin with just the x's and units. 2x and 6. 3x and 9. 2x and 1. 4x and 4, three ways. Now let's include x square. Take out one x square, three x's, and two units. Math is simple and logical, so let's use a simple and logical approach. Start with x square. Place one x on the right side and the rest of the x's above. This will create a space in the corner for the units, which can be placed there one above the other. Now let's try some. x square, 2x, and 1. x square, 5x, and 4. x square, 8x and 7. x squared, 5x and 6. Whoops, what happened? The units won't fit. Now what? If it does not work with 1x on the side, then try 2. If 2 doesn't work, then try 3 and so forth. Let's try some. x squared, 7x and 10. x square, 8x and 12. x square, 6x and 9. x square, 2x. Nice work! Now let's take this a step further and count the length of the sides of our rectangles. Do you remember our description of a rectangle? A rectangle has four corners and four sides. Because of this, all rectangles have width and height, which we will call an over distance and an up distance, or just over and up. These will be represented with a horizontal arrow for over and a vertical arrow for up. Let's take out six units and shape them into a rectangle. As you will see, there are several ways to build a rectangle with these six units. Now let's count our over and up distances in each of these rectangles. One over, six up. Six over, one up. Two over, three up. Three over, two up. In mathematics, this is called factoring and these edges are the factors of six. In other words, two times three equals six and so forth. Note the rectangles built by one and itself will not be included in our examples from now on as they are self-evident. Now see how simple factoring is. Factoring is building a rectangle and then counting the lengths of two sides. In factoring, we are given the area. We build a rectangle to find two sides or the factors. Now we can count the sides of larger rectangles. Let's begin with one of our first rectangles we built with the two X and six units. By factoring, we build this rectangle. The factors are the over and the up distance. If the rectangle is placed this way, the over distance would be x plus 3, and the up distance would be 2. If the rectangle is placed this way, the over distance would be 2, and the up distance would be x plus 3. There are two ways to describe a rectangle by its total area or by its dimensions. These two edges are the factors of the rectangle. Now let's find the factors of these rectangles. x squared, seven x, and 10. We see that the over distance is x and two units. 
and the up distance is X and 5 units. These are descriptions of the same rectangle described two different ways. In algebra, this would be written as X squared plus 7X plus 10 equals X plus 2, X plus 5. You have just completed the factoring of a polynomial. Poly meaning many, nomial meaning number. X squared plus 7X plus 10 is a many-numbered expression, a polynomial. 